think we need to to change our mind, our point of view on the tribes and to start doing tshuva and to call them the forgotten tribes. They're not lost. I think that we are lost. I'm getting hundreds of messages from people across the universe that are claiming to be part of the nation of Israel. Some of them bringing amazing, amazing evidence for their connection to Israel, a tradition that they keep on keeping and following, and holy names that their roots and source is for sure Israeli people with uh, Israeli names. They, their parents were called in Israeli names and all their families before were called in Israeli names. They have amazing traditions, holding holy scripts, Bibles from ancient times, traditional um, holy, holy customs that are we know that their source is Israeli, that their source is from the biblical time. And uh, the fact that they still have not been recognized or declared as, uh, as tribes, as Israelis, as Jewish, that's another story. But uh, it's like the numbers of messages that I'm getting on a daily basis is enormous, is gigantic. From Africa, from India, from uh, from the Far East, from China, from like wild places, from Afghanistan, from Pakistan, hundreds and thousands of messages, hundreds. And like also from Africa, you're going to say, okay, from that place or the, the other place, no, like you're talking about like few states and from everyone, people, and uh, and also from uh, other countries that are like in our eyes are more modern, like uh, from Europe and from Russia and from the United States of America, thousands of people that are claiming to be Israelis and like it's not that they want a, a visa to get into Eretz Israel and they're claiming for Judaism. You're talking about people with families, happy people, good people, solid people that are claiming that they are Israelis with no connection to, like, they don't, they're not coming in any request or demand or like begging for something. They're just like telling you, listen, hi, hey, brother, how are you doing? <laughs> like, that's the truth. We're talking about honest siblings, and it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see. That awakeness, that huge awakeness is uh, so beautiful. It's uh, the prophecy is coming to life. The redemption is, uh, is taking place in our days. They were there all the time, and they were hidden, and they were living their life in... Uh, in a, like it was a mystery for us. They were hidden from us. But uh, our minds, we really need to do tshuva. We need to do tshuva for not looking for them with, a, with enough power, with enough energy, that we didn't put enough of our time, enough of our mind and skills and energy and sources to, to help them out, to bring them back to their place, to the Holy Land. And that's why we should call them the forgotten tribes and not, uh, not lost. We are lost because we lost touch with them. So we are lost. We lost the connection. We need to reconnect ourselves to them.